Hey guys, I'm going to show you the location of all the suit upgrades, starting in Volga and then finishing it off in Caspian. We're going to get the compass here in Volga. And this one you might actually already have on your person when you start the game. But if you don't, it's at the front of this plane. Now, each of these items have maybe one or two different locations they can possibly appear. If you don't get it in this chapter, you might find one in a later chapter. I'm just showing you the first appearance of each one of them. Second, we got extended filter. This is going to be almost directly to the right of the previous one in the center of the map. We're going to open up a container, put on our gas mask because it's hazardous in there, take out our lighter, clear the cobwebs and spiders, and then pick up this extended filter. Now you can get all of these through chapter select as well. So if you missed one during your playthrough, you can go back and replay the chapter and pick it up and it'll count as a cumulative total between your playthroughs. All right, so next up, we're going to go, yeah, not too far from the previous one, just a little further right, and we're going to find ammo pouches. I really do like this upgrade. Don't forget, once you get one of these upgrades, you have to go to the workbench and equip it. So for this one, we're going to go inside the building. We're going to go up to the roof here and then go in through this opening. Now, this, this upgrade is going to be along the same wall here, so just head straight back this way. Now, I'm going to also get a key. And this key is going to be for getting the night vision goggles later. You know, you'll get the key here from one of the prisoners. All you got to do is open the cage and he'll talk to you and then eventually give you the key. There are several night vision goggles spread across the game. I've seen at least three different locations. This is the earliest way in which you can get them. So we're going to get the key. We can't get the night vision goggles until later. All right, so almost going to the right again, we're pretty much going a straight line across the map. We're going to find the throwing weapons harness, and it's going to be in the gas station. There's also a diary in the front uh, part of the building right there to the left. Uh, check my channel. I do have collectible guides for all of these as well as many other trophy guides. So back here, break open the lock, open the gate, and then that's where you'll find the upgrade. So the battery charge controller, this one's a little complicated. We have to take a boat to this little island here. So on this island, there's going to be a little shed here, this container. Now behind it is going to be a gas can. We need to pick this up. We're going to stick this gas and pour it into a generator. And then, of course, turn on the generator. Now, after we've turned on the generator, we're going to go in the house. But I do want to remind you that all of these upgrades there are multiple versions of them throughout the game so you can find a battery charge controller maybe in chapter eight i'm pretty sure you can actually i just don't know where they're at because since i already have them they don't appear now that we've turned on the generator in the house our ultimate goal is to get in that door there to the right so in order to do that we got to send power to that switch that would allow us to open the door so we're going to go through this door here on the left then make our way up to the roof complements of this convenient ramp now we're going to drop down in a hole. Now we're going to use this little doohickey over here to send power to that lock that was holding the door closed at the front of the house. Now we just have to make our way back to the front room. And you can do that by exiting this room through the red door, unlocking it. So go ahead and interact and turn this handle right here. Enter the room. Now, once you're in here, we're going to pull a switch and it's going to send an electric current into a body that's on this table. And that's going to charge up the batteries in some weird scientific way. Not sure how that works, but it doesn't matter. Make sure you pick up the batteries and let's go ahead over and get the reinforcement helmet, which is another nice upgrade. So this is going to be kind of on the southern island, and there's going to be this bandit camp here. It's pretty noticeable from a distance. There's going to be a bunch of people here. I took them all out with the exception of one person who happened to meet me right there at that doorway. And there is the helmet. So pick that up. And then we're going to go to the very southern part of this island. And there's going to be these big round cylinder uh, things over there on the left hand side. Well, just to the right is a smaller shack. We're going to go inside of here and get a metal detector. We got to break another lock. There is also another diary in this location. Since I've already picked it up, but you can't see it. But 
on this table over here is the metal detector. So the night vision goggles is going to be the kind of towards the end here. And that is the section where you got to wear your gas mask and you have to deal with the catfish ultimately at the end. Well, you don't have to, but if you do, you'll get a trophy for that. Again, check the channel. I do have a guide for that. So we're going to follow the path and then there's going to be a door straight in front of us. We got to go up the stairs that'll be presented to us here in just a moment. And then we're going to use that key that we got earlier from the prisoner to open this door. Night vision goggles are great if you want to remain stealthy in the dark and don't want to turn your flashlight on. All right, so now let's head over to Caspian. This is where we're going to get the five remaining upgrades, starting off with the motion scanner. Once you get your, your van, if you take that road to the far left of the map, straight north, you're going to eventually see this ship and you'll drive under it. Well, if you don't drive under it, instead, you just go into it and then up the stairs here. Now, we are going to pass locations of what would have been the locations of two collectibles, one in this room and then one up above. But we're going to make our way kind of to the top where the captain of the ship would normally be. So here on the deck, go inside. I didn't clear out the room. Decided against it. And we're going to go up this another ladder here. And then we're going to eventually lead right to the motion scanner. All right, so the extra bright flashlight, in case you can't see, you're going to find this at what would be a safe house. There's a, a little boat here. This is very close to the lighthouse entrance. So find this boat. Watch out for the trip mine. I didn't. It's gonna, I'm going to set it off. But right there is the extra bright flashlight upgrade. Now, just a little left of there, a little west of there, follow the road, and then you're going to find this little canyon. It's kind of like hidden area back here. Now, what you have to do is clear out all the enemies. Once you've cleared all of them out, this ladder will appear magically. Climb up the ladder. And there's going to be, conveniently, a workbench. So here's the armored glass for your, your mask, and there's the workbench. So convenient if you want to equip it right away. All right, so now we're going to head all the way down to the bottom right corner of the map. We have two upgrades down here. Starting off on this road, I'm going to actually take a little detour path that goes down. And then you're going to meet a character down here if you wish to talk to him. There's also a little short, small cave right in front of us that's lit up in orange light. And that is where we're going to go. We're going to find the consumables carrier there. I still prefer the, the ammo pouches over this upgrade, but that's just my choice. Also a workbench there for you if you want to equip it. And you can see I got the Dress for Success trophy because I didn't put these in order. All right, so the NVD amplifier is going to be uh, in the bottom right corner of the map. You have this building here. There's a hangar to my right. What we need to do is get to the very top of this building. So we're going to go in, get up to the second floor, and then go to the back left corner. And then we're going to find some stairs that we could take all the way up. I don't know how many floors this is. This is two. Well, hello there. third floor that looks like the fourth floor nope maybe it's the fifth floor sure is get up to the fifth floor go through this gate and a bunch of stuff here including the nvd upgrade so i want to thank you guys for watching that is going to get you the dress for success trophy hope you liked the video hit the like button it would mean a whole lot to me if you did it helps the channel and of course subscribe